Decisions, decisions, decision. My lease is up. What now? Do I buy my car? I love my car, um, but it needs new tires and it has, it needs a new battery and it has some issues. Do I need to lease again? Uh, can I buy another car? Um, what's next? That's the questions that all my customers have on the end of the lease. And that's the answers I'm gonna give it to you like I'm doing with my customers and my friends because all my customers are my friends. And my name is Rosario Rolandi. I work for Ghetto Toyota in Bradenton, Florida. It is my absolute pleasure to share all this information that I accumulate for so many years on your favor in order to save you time and money. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, Rosie the Car Lady. Hit the like on the bottom if you are so kind. That way I know that the information that I gave it to you is helpful. Well, now that three years pass and your dream car is not what you were thinking. Yes. You are not impressed by it or your life changed. Are you married? Are you expecting a child? or you're moving somewhere else where you need another kind of gear. When you're paying for a car, it has to be the car that fits your needs uh, and your body. Of course, that's why lease is so wonderful. You are not obligated to buy this vehicle. In the case of Toyota, you will receive about six months before the lease expire, a $500 check that you can use it against your extra miles if you did any extra miles or the down payment and your new lease or uh, purchase of a new vehicle. There are always options to finish your lease before the third year. Normally, you can do something with your lease when you are in two years and six months into your lease. You will get a fresh car, fresh tires, fresh battery, and your three years warranty for your main uh, five years roadside assistance, your five years of rental cars, that's all with Toyota. Three years is gonna be a big changes on the safety technology in your car, which you will be receiving. Another thing that you have on the lease is trying to buy your lease, even if you want to buy your lease, the car lost a lot of value. For that reason, buying the vehicle is not the best decision. Okay. You can purchase a pre-owned car certified with some warranty okay. or uh, you can lease or buy a new car. You have multiple options. Uh, if you were involved in an accident, You don't have to buy this vehicle. Even if it was a minor accident, the value of your vehicle went down and you are now responsible for the loss of value of the vehicle. Get a new one with no accident. See, with the lease, you have pros and cons. The pros will be that you can buy your vehicle but if it was in an accident, you don't have to buy it. If you cannot buy your vehicle for a realistic value, I mean, you're losing money in that case. That's why you have to be really careful what you're doing case by case. If you have any questions about your lease and please email me to thaladiescar at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to answer it. It's a complete free service. If you like all this information, my name is Rosario Rolandi. I'm uh, in Ghetto Toyota in Bradenton, Florida. Please subscribe to my channel, Rosie the Car Lady. I'm here to help you, help your family, help you to save time and money with all my experience. Yeah. Hit the like button on the bottom and I see you in the next video. Thank you.